Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I will be reviewing Steve Della's Night Flight Deck Standard Edition. Before I do this review, I've got a couple of things to say and you've got to listen, right? <laughs> uh, have a look at cardmagiccourse.com. That's what you've got to do. There's no excuses now. And if you don't, you can't really call yourself a magician if you're not a member of Car Magic. I'm not being funny, uh, but that's just the way it is now. You, you, it's kind of a, it's a very, very important thing that you join CardMagicCourse.com because at the time of recording this week, we've got Fanique coming, uh, which I'm really excited about because I love his book, The Code. And uh, last month we had Vinny Segu and we've got a lot of stuff coming up in the future and there's live sessions every week and it's very good, but I would say that it's mine. So have a look at it, uh, CardMagicCourse.com, thanks. And uh, like and subscribe, Check, hit the notifications button, the little bell, and uh, that'd be great. It's not waffly at all, this, is it? No. So, uh, Steve Della, like Steve Della, excited when he uh, comes out with something. Loved the Night Flight deck, which was the plastic deck, which was for mentalists. So the idea is you could put them down on the table and they could get wet. But of course, some people are saying, well, we want normal cards with these marking system. And this is a marked deck, right? And importantly, it's a marked deck you can see super easily, which is probably why it's called Night Flight. Might not be, but you can see it at night, as long as it's not too dark. It doesn't allow you to see in the dark. That's not what it does. Uh, but if you haven't got great light in, you see the light. And I talked about the Speed Reader deck, which I found actually wasn't great in low, low light. And of course, the DMC Elites, which I love. Um, and you can see them in low light, and they, they, they've got nice big markings. So why this? Well. First of all, this, uh, there's a few people had, uh, by reading the copy, had a few issues with the other deck. Not issues, but they had Night Flight written on them, and they, they um, and that was about it, probably. <laughs> that was, I was just, just going to make some stuff up. Sorry for just editing this and forgot that I didn't mention two things. One of them, they've also removed Night Flight from the Ace of Spades. And the other thing, very importantly, that I forgot, is that this has also been designed by Aid Gower from Monster Creations. Uh, I'd be horrible not to mention a designer, wouldn't it? It's kind of one of the points. And I think that's about it. Oh, and um, what I didn't mention also is that they're really easy to see, but obviously not for the spectator, which I think was a given. Uh, it's not like they've just got it written on them. It's, it's uh, yeah, easy to see for the magician, not easy to see for the spectator. Uh, but no, and that's it, and that's pretty much the issue with them. From what he said on the copy, he says he listened to people that said he didn't want Night Flight deck written on them, etc. So he's done that, but that's obviously not the main thing. You wouldn't release a new deck of cards and just change that, would you? This is a standard deck of cards, so it's not the plastic coated. It's uh, a high quality stock deck, uh, and I know that because it feels lovely when you use it, and it farrows pretty well. It's quite a thick stock. It feels quite substantial. You get a double cider, uh, double backer in it, and uh, two jugs and a double backer, so it's a 55 card deck. But it's all about the markings in it, all this extra, and it has got extra stuff. It's got this cool thing on the deck, which is a little prompt to show you how to calculate a magic square. It's got the uh, 1089 calculation, if you know it's a kind of, I had to ask Steve what it was, because I didn't know what it was. Uh, it's a kind of little exercise you can do with someone and the number always comes out with 1089 you can say you influenced them as it says it on the deck and all that just little extras which are quite nice quite cute but it's all about the marks and it's about the fact that they handle like proper cards and it's also about the fact that they look like bicycle cards which is quite important if you're the sort of person that maybe wants to switch something in and I'm not saying you'd use a set of bikes and switch these in I think you could get away with it actually but I think you could do a routine with some bikes do some other stuff in your show and come back with these and people just wouldn't know because they do you know if I was going to do that and just chat and you weren't really looking at them you'd think they were bikes you know so so there's that and if you know anything about change blindness inattentional blindness you know that that's all cool so it kind of gets rid of the plastic coating thing if you don't want that gives you a normal deck a good quality deck and it's these marks that are great. Now, importantly, what they haven't done, which a lot of people do with mark decks, is take an existing design and put the marks on it, which is fine, but this is, has been designed from the ground up, this whole marking system, and it does other stuff as well. Like, it's a one-way deck. There's a new thing where you look at it, and if you, you just wouldn't notice, but it's so blatantly obvious, and you can see it from a mile away to tell you whether it's a red or a black card, 
and I can read these marks just it's it's just telling me what each card is it's so easy I can just I've spent no time with these but I can see that's the nine of diamonds these are miles away they're right up, you can't see because it's but they're kind of I don't know four foot I've got to lean forward and get them that's the king of clubs I'm not even spending any time that's the four of clubs and I haven't spent much time with these nine of hearts so there's you don't have to kind of do anything and and I haven't got good eyes yeah I need to wear glasses so for those people that are worried about that sort of thing, these are really, really good. There's not loads more to say about them, but I really, really like these. Um, I will happily use these all the way through a show. They feel really, really nice. Um, and there's not really, like I said, loads more to say about them either than if you like that design and you want a really good marked deck that you don't have to squint to see and you can see from miles away, again, um, you do well to go with these. And don't forget, you know, Steve is someone that's creating his own stuff. He hasn't got the, the support of a big industry behind him. So, you know, there's, there's a nice thing about that as well. When someone sort of puts the effort in and makes their own stuff and, and, you know, sources all the stock themselves, does it all. It's not an easy thing to do. And I really, really support that. So if you, if you want a mark deck, you're not sure, I'd go for these. And I can pretty much guarantee you're going to be happy with them. So they're the uh, standard uh, red night flight deck from Steve Della. Please use the links below. They're not affiliate links, but they just go straight to the, the Steve shop. And at the moment, at the time of recording, because they've just been launched, there is a deal on uh, with, with two decks. You get quite a lot off and if you buy more and more decks as well. So check that out too. But the link is below. So thank you very much. Uh, have a great one. Please check out cardmagiccourse.com if you want to spread cull. Uh, download, free download course. It's cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. Check that out and have a great one. Like I just said. I'll say it again. Have a great one. Have a really good one. Have a lovely time. Have a great day. See you later.